I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So Skillshare is an online learning community where creatives can go to further their skill sets in their craft or learn something new. So I actually used Skillshare um, before and I think that it's like a really great place to further your knowledge on things. One of the classes that I actually recommend is called Digital Illustration by Jerome Vogel. And I know that a lot of you have been asking like what digital tools do I use and I actually use the iPad which has the Procreate app which is what a lot of illustrators are using nowadays and Jerome Vogel kind of just teaches you a lot of tips and tricks a lot of shortcuts that I didn't know about and it made my life so much easier I do think that it's important to always stay curious and to always want to learn and further your own passions so especially now that everyone is self-quarantined at home I think this is a great opportunity to just sit down and learn something. And for the first 500 people that sign up using the link I have in my description, you will get two months free for Skillshare. If you like it, the annual plan is $10 a month, which I don't think is bad at all for unlimited learning and exploring. So I hope 2020 is the year that you decide to grow creatively and explore that inner itch of curiosity you have about anything. Like honestly, there's classes on how to brew tea and coffee. So if you're interested in that, I know it exists on Skillshare. What passed when the girls all began to by Dan David. Their parents home, a place of their own. Perhaps it's Good morning. It's Saturday and I love Saturday mornings because everything just feels super calm and chill. Um, I'm gonna just get ready a little bit because I just want to feel decent, you know? Even though I'm not gonna do anything or go anywhere. I just want to look decent. Also, looking decent makes me feel more productive. And I do have a lot of things I have to accomplish today. So I don't wanna be wearing pajamas. I mean, what I'm wearing is pretty much like as comfortable as pajamas because I'm just wearing leggings. This is Jackson Style and I love the color of this. I think it's very hard to find a pair of pants with this color. This is actually the color fit t shirt. I wore this a lot because it's like an upgrade from a So I used to be really scared of ripping out dead leaves, but think about it this way. If you rip out the dead leaves now, then your plant has more energy to make prettier leaves. And it won't waste its energy on maintaining the leaves that are half dead. Ugh. Oh my god, this one's so stubborn, I can't rip it out. Yeah. This one, I I don't know. I kind of like the dead leaves because they're like pinkish, but at the same time, they're dead. Ah, uh, monster leaves are dying too. What is happening? Also, look at this root. It looks like he's stepping out of the pot. Like he's like, I'm out. Give me more space. Yeah. When I can go out again, I'll buy you a bigger pot. Also, does anyone else do this? I'm like super lazy, so I have an empty pot right next to everything and I just throw all the dead leaves in it. It's time to give some juice to our plants. This one is kind of dying. It's very barren. I think I might be overwatering it. So I might not do that. One of my favorites, this is a silver satin pothos. Um, he's kind of balding on top, but I'm pretty sure he's still healthy by the way the leaves look. So this is what it looks like. The leaves are all facing the window right now, so super pretty. This little guy is a string of hearts. have no idea how he's doing. 
my Monstera that chugs water like crazy. Always wants water. Also, this snake plant right here, I have no idea if it's still alive or not. It's super soft. But uh, I've been watering it anyways, so I don't know. So my coworker gave me this plant for Valentine's Day, but uh, I think I've only watered it once. So I think I need to figure out how to water this properly. I've never been good with succulents. And especially this one, I have no idea how to really water it because it's like glued down in rocks. Um, but I think I'll just, I think I'll just put water in it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just let it sit for a few minutes and I'm gonna dump it out. You never wanna leave the water inside like this forever because it's gonna just grow root rot and die really fast. So if you remember in my previous vlog, I was trying to draw some Animal Crossing stickers and I did some sketches, but I think the only way for me to actually like feel what I'm doing is by just jumping straight into it and like just using Posca markers on, I don't know, like a sketchbook instead of like drawing it out. Like this is fine too, but I feel like I truly feel like it's my style or my voice when I just start using color and I don't know I think I'm gonna just do that and I'm planning on making the Animal Crossing stickers into little sticker sheets because I do like the vinyl stickers but at the same time I feel like if I only had a peach from Animal Crossing and like an apple from Animal Crossing then it would be like too little because if I make individual vinyl stickers I'd have to make hundreds of that one sticker so I can't make as many designs versus like a sticker sheet I can have like a bunch of fruits and a bunch of stuff on that one sticker sheet and it only costs like a dollar to make one so I think I'm gonna do that yeah I'm gonna just use my mastery notebook um, and yeah I'm gonna start doodling So we didn't bring much other than some blankets. In a case of beer my older brother bought for us. But we quickly got bored and decided that we would go out for a midnight song about that night since. A few weeks later it was finally summer. My hair. None of them spoke to each other on the way home. And no one brought it up since. This might not be the scariest story. But I'm curious to know if anyone ever lived in the last few seconds of their lives. And what made us all feel that way? But there's definitely something not right about that place. I've never believed in the supernatural. Our next door neighbors were a good 10 miles away. They were all designated by numbers. When I got older, I wasn't too excited or afraid of them. When night came, how insane this time was. For whatever reason, at this time, my dad installed a glass sliding door on the wall near where the computer was. It appeared to be the hub of our home and then we see footprints in the dirt, leading straight into the forest. I had no idea what to make of it. I repressed this memory for so long and just wanted to pretend that it never happened. Aside from a few close friends, I've never told anyone about this. This was often used by drifters. The neighbor told us that it was a drug house for a long time. A few months after my dad bought the house, the car had a license plate on it, and I saw clothing piled up in the back seat just by the house. The person who found the body was a lady who was hiking through the area. There was a good area, not long before that body was discovered. As far as my dad knows, they never followed up with the neighbor after the body was found.
Ooh, okay. So I just finished my Animal Crossing sticker designs. I still don't know if I'm able to make this into a sticker sheet and I'm hoping that I can because I spent so much time drawing it. But now I can finally eat lunch. I made like a cauliflower, chicken, mushroom, corn, udon noodle stir fry. I need more greens inside my meal. It just looks brown all the time. It doesn't look that appealing on camera. But trust me, it tastes pretty decent. This is the stickers by the illustrator and designer that goes by Apple Cheeks. Her name is Tiffany Tan. So go check out her website. How long does it take for things to ship to my house? A day. Oh, a day, yeah. Oh wait, the clothes? Clothes are automatically shipped They are? Wait, do they take up the space inside your pocket? No. Oh, okay, good. So this is the rare occasion that I leave my apartment to mail all of these orders and... And... I should really take out the trash and be a decent adult human being and not leave it in front of my apartment door for the whole week. So I think I'm gonna do that too. I'll just I'll just take one trip. I'll uh I'll throw away the trash and mail all the orders. And I have to mail these orders tomorrow. But these ones I have to drop off at the post office or yeah. So I actually have to go out. Um I might just do like one big no. I'm gonna just run in and run out. I'll just run in, run back to my car, sanitize my hands, and hopefully nothing happens. My apartment complex drained the pool. So I've decided that I wanted to reorder some of my previous designs as stickers but this time it's gonna be through sticker app instead of sticker mule for some of them. So the orange guy will be the same um, but these five up here, they actually were hand cut and hand printed at home by myself so these are gonna be better quality, they're gonna be waterproof. And so I'm probably going to up the price to the same as the other ones. Um, the lemon one, I used to do it through Sticker Mule, so it was a matte finish, but this is going to be a glossy finish. It's going to be the same size, but just not matte anymore. And I'm also planning on doing... I want to redesign the Trash Raccoon sticker. I know I said I was going to retire it, but I think I want to do it as a clear sticker instead. Um, and then I have another banana design that I want to finish and hopefully I'll be stocked for a good amount of time so I can take a little bit of a break from making new stickers um, and yeah I'm also gonna be doing I'm gonna also make a Animal Crossing sticker sheet and hopefully that works because I'm still not sure how to make sticker sheets but we'll figure that out soon
finally done editing that video. But anyways, more importantly, the Forest Mori is on... She's on Animal Crossing and honestly, this morning I woke up at 7.30 and I would have slept until like 10, but I opened my phone and I saw that she was online. So I literally woke up like, I didn't, I wasn't even groggy at all. I just kind of jumped out of bed, grabbed my switch and went on for like a few minutes. And now I'm gonna do the same thing and it's nighttime. I'm in, I made it. Hello, hello, good morning. It's Sunday right now, and wow, I feel like a lot has happened already. I just hit 30k on Instagram, 10k on YouTube, and I don't know how to feel about it. Like, I'm very grateful for all the support, but at the same time, I'm like a little overwhelmed. Like, I don't know how to process this. Um, but yeah, thank you for all the support and love that you guys give me every day. I think going forward, it might be a little hard to reply to all of you um, as soon as possible. But um, I'll try my best and uh, please don't hate me if I don't reply to you. <laughs> so for today, I want to finish um, digitizing the Animal Crossing stickers that I drew. So I pretty much just take it into Procreate on my iPad. A lot of people ask what iPad and um, pencil I use. I pretty much just use the iPad 10.5 inch Pro and then I just use the simple Apple Pencil. The only reason why people ask me what pen I use is because I have a decal on it. So it looks like an actual pencil. But this is just a decal. I just got it from like Slick Wraps and I don't know. It's just an Apple Pencil. It's just like a normal... yeah. And I'm really... I'm kind of really sad because I dropped it on the floor the other day and I'm scared that it broke. But I mean, it still works. It's just... Also, the cap flew off and I was standing there for a good 10 minutes trying to find the cap because there was like a bunch of rocks and it flew inside the rocks. So, this is the progress I have for... Um, the sticker sheet so far I started off with Okay, this is a lot of layers I didn't really record digitizing the stickers just because I thought It would be pretty similar to the actual speed paint, but what I did was I took a photo of the original this was like the traditional this was a traditional painting with post markers I pretty much just lowered the opacity really low and turned off the white background. And then pretty much from there, I just traced everything. And I kept each color on a separate layer just so that it's easier to edit the colors later on. And yeah. So now that I look at it without a white background, I kind of want to make these into clear stickers if it's possible. I might do a set of like cheaper stickers where it's more like stationary planner type stickers and then I might do like a waterproof clear sticker for people that want to put these on like your switch or somewhere that will be waterproof. But um, yeah, that's what I have so far. I still need to put it in Photoshop and lay it out better, put like a title on top, and then figure out where I'm gonna print these. Oh my god, what did I just get? Hello. I am beyond excited right now because I had like a really, really, really long day at work and I was starting to get very tired and I don't know, a little burnt out I guess because this past weekend just killed me so Monday was a little bit draining but I came home to this Wait, can you even see it? To this 
So, um, I, I have like the parcel pending thing in my apartment where like it texts you whenever you get a package and you go pick it up. And I actually wasn't planning on going to pick it up, but for some reason, in like a small voice in my head said, what if it's, what if it's that package that I'm waiting for? What if it's Amy's package? And so I took the chance and I went. So I'm gonna unbox it on camera because I'm like so excited. And I also have chicken nuggets. Um, perfect. I'm so nervous, but I'm so happy. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh my god, I love bubble wrap. Oh, she recently made these new cards that she drew by herself, which are amazing. I think she collaborated with Moonchild illustrations for these, which I follow and I love, and she's amazing too. Oh, and she hand writes, Thank you, Tiffany, right here. That's cute. It's such a pleasure to meet you on Instagram. You're so kind and talented. Your artwork says a lot about you. Apple Bear is a new bear. Oh my god, okay. So, what's in here is supposed to be Apple Bear and this is like the first apple bear apparently, which I'm really excited about. She sent it to me because obviously my username is Apple Cheeks. But oh, I am stoked. Oh my god, I'm in love already and I haven't even seen it yet. If you can see my face right now, I'm like literally, I can't stop smiling. This is like making my day. Oh. Holy cow. Okay, maybe I should stop cursing on YouTube, but like, oh my god. Look at him. Or her. I should call her her. Look at her. Oh my god. Honestly, I'm like such a huge fangirl of her work. She's so amazingly talented and she also makes vlogs and stuff. So I'll link her and all her like social media stuff down below. <gasps> Thank you so much. I love him so much. I mean her. She's a her. I love her so much. I can't wait to put a little plant inside. So I actually have a plant that I bought when I first moved to Vegas. And I haven't had a pot for it since I moved because I guess I just didn't really buy pots. I just bought like a lot of plants. Like all my plants are still in their nursery planters, which is fine because they go pretty, f they grow pretty fast. So I would have to change their planters pretty frequently, at least like once every year or half year. But I think this guy would be perfect inside Mrs. Apple Bear. So this is like a. This is actually like a furry bear paw because they look like little little bear paws and it's perfect because this is a bear. Okay, he's a little bit big but I think I'm still gonna keep him in here because look at how fluffy it is. I can't. I'm like crying on the inside right now. I can't stop smiling. <laughs> I love ceramics that have like half glazed on top and like the bottom is like this raw texture. I love things like this. Like it's so modern and minimal and beautiful and I can't uh, love it so much. Thank you again. So this is gonna be the end of my studio vlog. Um, this is such a good way to end my vlog. I'm like so extremely happy and this just gave me so much more energy to create and not sulk and be dead all day, but... Apple Bear says bye.
thanks for watching. Oh my god. Okay, bye!